I just finished watching the Paul Mercer and football gambling documentary on BBC and it was really sad but also super interesting. So he's had a gambling addiction for over 35 years. He's lost over £7 million, which is absolutely shocking. And here are a few things that I didn't know before watching the documentary. So I didn't know that he only played one season under Wenger and he was offered a new contract at Arsenal, but he went to borrow for the money. And he says in the documentary, this was due to his gambling addiction because at borrow he would earn £350,000 more a year and as a compulsive gambler he couldn't get his head around how much money he would lose if he had stayed at Arsenal. And Arsenal had just qualified for the UEFA Cup, they finished third and Borrow had just been relegated from the Premiership. So at the time he was the most expensive player to sign for a team outside the Premiership. And another thing that I found really shocking about the documentary was how betting companies use data to target vulnerable people. The documentary was really educational because he met with a professor at Cambridge University who analysed his betting behaviour and he went to the Imperial College in London to have his brain measured during an MRI scan. He also met with people who had lost family members through gambling, which was incredibly sad. And over 30 million people in Britain gamble responsibly, but there are over 330,000 gambling addicts. Here's a checklist that you might find helpful if you're wondering if you have a gambling addiction. Number one, do you bet more than you can afford to lose? Number two, do you struggle to stick with the budget? Number three, does it affect your mood? Number four, do you chase your losses? And number five, does it have an impact on your life overall? So socially, financially, or your family life? My answer to these questions is no, but if you answered yes to any of these questions, then please seek help.